Start with the 200. 300. 400. 500. All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So this is more of a, a video log than it is anything else. Because uh, right now what we're doing is I'm setting up this rifle for the upcoming three-gun competition I have down at the Clinton House. Uh, one of the cool things is we are going to be reaching out to 480, something like that, 500 yards. Say, for instance, you had a, a, a three-gun competition you were shooting at, three, at 500 yards. So you're going to have a lot of CQB stuff, a lot of jungle runs, but there are going to be a few times where you're going to have to actually do that. And I understand there's going to be a spinner at 100 yards that you have to shoot with the rifle. So what that means is, is that you want to use a heavy round. Uh, and also what that means is, because I am going to go ahead and use this guy right here. This is the uh, Primary Arms Platinum 1-8. to eight. And I want to use this because it has a lot of magnification in it. A lot more than what my... Uh, what do you call that thing? The uh, the Razor HD is one to six, and not until I, I actually put these side to side did I realize that extra two power means it's absolutely incredible, huge difference. Uh, also, uh, what we're trying to do is I'm setting this scope up. I'm also running a 77 grain. These these are just the Magtex. Uh, these are these are accurate rounds. Uh, don't let anybody fool you. Uh, 77 grain Sierra Match Keen open tip match. Uh, so what I want to do because it's a heavy round uh it's suitable real suitable for this barrel wilson combat barrel and it will work with this reticle when it's zeroed at the proper distance so what we did was i ran the ballistics i know the, the uh, ballistic coefficient of the round uh we're shooting at about 2705 out of this rifle the 16 inch wilson combat barrel uh, with the jsc uh comp on it uh what I'm doing now is I've zeroed it at the uh, at 50 yards plus a one quarter, and I have targets out to 500 yards. And this is the first time that I'm actually using some of the new cameras. Uh, I don't care about going beyond 500 uh, because I'm that's about it. That's as far as we're going to go. So all I want to do, ultimately at the end of the day, is make sure that this reticle is suitable to that round and this rifle, and that's how it all works. Uh, I don't want to have to reload this time around. I'm, I've gotten too busy. I got too much crap going on. So we're just going to go ahead and buy probably 150, 200 rounds of this stuff. Even though it costs a little bit more money reloading, but I could, the time is money for my, me right now. So what I want to do, we've got the cameras up there. We're going to go ahead and start off with a 200 yard target, which is about the size of a one third I, uh, IPDA target. Uh, from what I understand, we're going to be shooting half size or uh, uh, two thirds size IDPA targets, which should be pretty easy out to 500. So change. So I got 20 rounds of that ammo plus a couple left over. Uh, we got a little bit of wind out there, not much. It's coming and going. So we're going to see what so happens. This is a. I want this to be a cool video. It's going to be fun. We're going to see what happens. Running the uh, hyper fire trigger in here uh, at first. So, uh, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and start off with the 200 yard target and see how we end up there. Here we go, first rounds. Got him. <laughs> Got him. All right, so I want to try for the 300. Uh, it is sitting up there on the top right hand. I got a little tiny target up there. Why don't we go ahead for the 20 tiny target at first? See if we're anywhere close on this thing. Okay, here we go. Think we ought to waste a bullet on the big target? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and head up to the 400 yard target. And... We got a little breeze, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hold for a 5 mile per hour wind left to right. I'm going to aim for that right side 10, 12 by 12 inch target. Here we go. All right, no wind. All right, let's try for the little target in the middle. All right, we're going to go 500. Shit, I can't even see the 500. All right, 500 target. We're going to go dead center. Yeah. 
That is with the ACSS Radical. And that's, God, I don't want to sit here and brag about it, but that's what you can do with this. I'm going to tailwind right now. I am so parched, man. I came out here uh, with zero fluids. Um, okay, so the difference is between sitting behind a bench and shooting and shooting uh, after you've been running is a huge difference. Uh, so that's a that's a big difference. So let's do this. I want to run. Uh, I'm going to shoot at the 200 even though it's down. We're going to run all the way up just to see if we can hit, be close. we got a little bit of wind. Left or right, but we'll see. Start with the 200. 300. 400. 500. I love this thing. I'm going to say thanks, uh, Primary Arms, for uh, providing this for this competition. You guys are awesome. And I don't have to do any more work. This rifle is set up and ready to go. Now all I got to do is I got to make sure that 55 grain will hit a target 50 yards away because that's what I'll be using for the CQB stuff. Skoda Boy 32, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. This is a bad mamma jamma. I do love this rifle. Skoda Boy 32, I'm out. And I'm happy. Sorry, Johnny, I had to steal that one from you. <laughs>